Hi everyone, welcome to Java Best Practice series. In this video, we're going to discuss one more best practice that is use string builder or string buffer for string concatenations instead of string concatenation operator that is plus operator. All right. If you have more number of string concatenation operations, then prefer using string builder or string concatenation operator that is plus operator. All right. Let me demonstrate this with an example. In Java, we can use the string concatenation operator that is plus operator to join the strings like this all right so this is perfectly fine since only few string objects are involved however with a code that involves in concatenating many strings such as building a complex sql statements or generating lengthy html text the plus operator becomes inefficient as java compiler creates a many intermediate string objects during this concatenation process all right therefore the best practice recommends using string builder or string buffer to replace the string concatenation operator for concatenating many string objects together as they modify a string without creating an intermediate string objects okay for example so look at here the code snippet this uses plus operator or a string concatenation operator to build a SQL query okay with a string builder we can here I have rewrite the above code and here how it looks like so you can use string buffer in multi-threaded environment because string builder is a non-thread shape and string buffer is a thread shape all right so let me demonstrate the performances of uh, you know uh, string concatenation operator string builder and string buffer with an example so i have written a sample program here to demonstrate the performances of string concatenation operator string builder and string buffer so here is the class it has a main method and inside a main method i have written a code uh, here is a for loop uh, here we are just uh, you know concatenating a uh, 10 strings and here is a start date end date and here i am just printing a end minus start the difference between end time and start time similarly for string builder here we are uh, writing a uh, you know for loop which will append 10 strings and here is again start date end date this will print a difference between end minus start date similarly for string buffer here we are just appending 10 strings using string builder okay and here again start time the end date and here is the difference between end minus start date all right so let's run the program and let us see the performance of all the three use cases right click run a java application and here is the output so look at here string operation with you know string concatenation operator has taken 49400 nanoseconds while string builder took 5800 nanoseconds and string buffer took 11400 nanoseconds all right so by looking into the output of this program string builder provides a good performance for concatenating the strings all right so far we have seen string concatenation for 10 strings okay now let's increase from 10 to 1000 similarly do it for string builder and string buffer now let us see the performance for 1000 string concatenation operation again let me run the program and let us see the output so look at here the output string concatenation operator took this much of nanoseconds and string builder took this much of nanoseconds and string buffer took this much of nanoseconds all right so while looking into the output here again string builder took uh, you know only one lakh twenty six thousand nanoseconds it means that string builder provides a good performance in case of uh, you know many string concatenation operations all right so we can also look into ten thousand strings as well let me increase the count here from one thousand to ten thousand and let's again run the program and let us see the output so look at here again string builder takes a very less time to uh, perform the operation all right so this means that whenever you have more number of string concatenation operations then prefer 
using string builder or string concatenation operator all right i hope you found this best practice useful and i have demonstrated this best practice with an example and i also demonstrated the performances of all these three use cases all right subscribe to my youtube channel whenever i will publish such videos you will get notified thanks for watching i will see you in the next video with another java best practice all right thanks